Hi everyone, Petko here, and today we're going to talk about uh, shamans, specific elemental shamans for Mythic Plus. I will not talk about uh, raiding and I will not talk about PvP in this video, so if you're interested in that, you can just skip it. Uh, without further ado, let's begin. Now, first thing I want to talk about how we feel currently in Mythic Plus and how we float. Uh, it, depending on the build you play, I've currently chosen to play this build with Master of the Elements and Primal Elementalist, pretty standard build as for now. Um, I still feel we, we kind of miss something. Um, it, it, it doesn't feel well to play Shaman. It feels like, um, in a way, the playstyle is intrusive and I don't find it enjoyable myself. I feel like we are very cooldown dependent as for now and we need a lot of global cooldowns to ramp up before we actually start making damage. That is frustrating gameplay and I don't enjoy it myself as for now. Things are due to change most likely before pre-patch and before the actual release of Herolands, which will be on 26th of October. So I'm optimistic to see any upcoming changes. I feel like we need a slight tuning of our numbers. We feel our numbers feel um, slightly in inferior when it comes down to like no cooldowns. And whenever we have cooldowns, we feel very powerful in my opinion. So I'd like to see a bit more balance, uh, take the power a bit away from our cooldowns and distribute it um, in, in regards to passive damage. Second thing I want to talk about is builds and talents. Um, well, pretty much on the first row, as you can as you can see, there are not there isn't much much of a choice. Uh, static discharge is still, uh, in my opinion, talent that sh nobody should take, and it doesn't feel nice to play. Uh, it's extra global cooldown for a negative pretty much a DPS. So the only obvious choice is between urgent rage and echoing echoing elements. Um, Echo of Echo of the Elements is the talent I've chosen to, to go because it provides a significant increase of my lava burst. It synergizes really good with the Master of the Elements, so those two talents go hand to hand together. Um, I really like the way the way it floats, and in my opinion, has a better single target when you play with that talent. Now, Urgent Rage is a talent that you can choose if you play Storm Elemental build, which is uh, not as common, but I've seen that uh, I've seen some people have uh, taken it. Second talent roll, very important. Uh, many new changes towards Aftershock, Echoing Shock, and Elemental Blast I want to talk about. The first one being Echoing Shock. Now, Echoing Shock is a powerful spell that duplicates the previous spell that you have used. For example, if I use um, if I use Echoing Shock, the spell after my Echoing Shock will get duplicated. Let's say I cast a Lava Burst immediately after Echoing Shock, you're going to see two Lava Bursts flying away. Or let's say an Earthquake or any other spell. This will duplicate my spell. 30 second cooldown, it's a damage on demand, which is very, very good for Mythic Plus. Um, and it's overall very solid talent. Aftershock, it has the same usage as in BFA. You have a 25% chance to defend all mass time spent from your Earthshock or Earthquake. That is a very unique talent that no other class has. And it currently feels like the battle is between those for Mythic Plus. Elemental Blast is more. It's more um, rate orientated, but I've seen some builds with Elemental Blast, Surge of Power, and Ascendance that I can, uh, I think, um, no. let's grab that. Another, another build is uh, Elemental Blast, Surge of Power, and Ascendance build. Elemental Blast is primarily used for raiding. It's very good talent for raiding. With Mythic Plus, however, myself, I did not find a pro proper place to, to use, and I don't find it uh, accurate in a way of, of like, it doesn't feel like it belongs to my rotation, so hence I haven't played much with it, but I tested it, and it's very solid overall. Third row is pretty much the same, it depends on the dungeon. Spirit Wolf is, uh, is very useful when it comes down to like movement abilities and uh, damage re reduction, uh, incoming damage. Static Charge reduces your cooldown of uh, your stun from 60 seconds to maximum to 40 seconds, depends how many of your stun with your static, char static charges. It is useful if none of your party members have an actual stun, a way stun. So yeah, that is a useful talent and Urgent Shield is talent primarily used in PvP. Uh, you, you, you won't find much use in the Mythic Plus with it. Now the fourth row is uh, a battle between Master of the Elements and Storm Elemental. Most common is Master of the Elements, has a higher single target, it um, floats better with the current build I'm using with the Primal Elementalist and Echo of the Elements. And overall I prefer it myself, but I've seen people playing uh, Storm Elemental, for example, with Urgent Rage, as I said, and uh, Surge of Power. So it, it depends on what build you want to go for, you can choose either. 
Next row is uh, again defense talent row. Uh, personal preference, I find a sense for guidance useful because it's not in GCD. In some cases, when, when the mob density is too high, you can use that one and your healer can do way more. Like you, you can help your healer or you can, your healer can just primarily DPS while you heal the party members. Very useful. Nature's Guardian is pretty much like a cheat dead every 45 seconds. <clears throat> I find it extremely useful because shamans lack uh, survivability. Windrush Totem has very niche uses, primarily in raiding, but you can see some cases of Mythic Plus um, people using it, but not myself. Next row is a very important row again. You have a three potential builds. The first build being the Ice Fury build that is uh, primarily used for raiding. You won't find much use of Ice Fury in Mythic Plus, except if it's like for pure single target, then sure. And Surge of Power and Primal Elemental is the main two talents you want to choose. If you're a beginner shaman, you might want to go for Primal Elementalist. It's slightly easier to play. And if you're more intermediate, advanced, you can try Surge of Power. It is a very, very powerful talent that, if done correctly, can uh, increase your DPS by a ton. Um, and the last talent row is, again, there's only two viable talents, Stormkeeper and Ascendance. If you choose to play Ascendance, then that's going to be the Ascendance build that I talked about. You can now uh, on beta is, uh, well, used to be the Ascendance build. Now it's kind of a hybrid build with Elemental Blast, Stormkeeper, Surge of Power, Master of the Elements, and Echo of the Elements. It is currently a very powerful, unique one, so it might come into meta shifting what I currently run. I just need some more testing before I make my final decision, uh, if it's good or bad. You play it with a Necro Covenant, uh, and primarily you synergize Primordial Wave, which inflicts Flame Shocks to the target, and that further on goes, goes and, and gets induced by Surge of Power. As you can play around, uh, pretty much if you have seen around the what what's a, what they call that ascendance build, but right now people don't play with ascendance and instead they choose a stormkeeper. But that's something that I'm testing right now and I'll give my feedback later on. I prefer stormkeeper has a minute cooldown, uh, provides a damage on demand, and it also synergizes well with master of the elements. Uh, and also equine shock, you can equine shock, and stormkeeper is going to duplicate a cast, which is very very powerful instant damage. So yeah. This is in regards builds, that's what I think about it. Um, you can choose to play uh, as you wish. And just to give an overall opinion how I feel about shamans and how I feel about shamans and shamans in the upcoming meta, what would people prefer in play? I don't think we're in a good position right now. I don't think our toolkit is complete. We feel incomplete. And I, I do believe that there will be some uh, changes in tuning in regards to that. I hope to see some changes. Uh, I'm a shaman made myself and I, I, I would like my class to perform as good as possible. Currently, we are very good in PvP, we're decent in raiding, in Mythic Plus, however, we are very inferior when it comes down to different classes. Alright, well, thank you very much, guys, for watching and hearing me on my regards about Shaman and what do I feel currently about them. And if you want to see more about that, give a thumbs up. Uh, next video is going to be about legendaries and uh, which one have I picked myself and which one should I use for different builds. If you guys are interested, make sure to check this out. Uh, Signing out. Peace and see you next time.